In today's video, we're going to check out this ultra budget friendly travel rod. Let's just check it out. All right, well, this isn't exactly a BFS or an ultralight rod, but it's definitely a diamond in the rough type of rod. Well, at least that's what I'm hoping. It's the Semrio Macans, Semrio Macans or Super Macans four piece travel rod. It's a bit hard to see in the light there, but uh, there's three models. There is a 1.8, a 2.1 and a 2.4 meter or a six foot, seven foot and eight foot in the old, um, both in spinning and casting. And these are all the same uh, casting weight, four to 21 grams. So, you know, four grams, not that heavy. You could maybe classify this as a, you know, power BFS if you want. But um, yeah, I, I actually ordered the 2.4 meter, uh, eight foot casting model. And they mistakenly sent me the seven foot model. But uh, shortly after I um, processed the order, they, uh, they messaged me and said, hey, we sent you the wrong one. If you wanna reorder the correct one, we'll send you, uh, we'll refund you for that and you can just keep this one. So what I'm thinking is I might order the eight foot uh, spinning just so uh, you know it's something different and it's a travel rod that I could take with me uh, if I you know, ever go traveling again. But yeah, let's take a look at it. I paid about uh, 25 Australian dollars. So that's probably around maybe 17 US free shipping. So super, super cheap. Uh, wasn't really, you know, expecting too much out of it. Although, you know, I was hoping it would be better than some ones I've um, purchased, like some, you know, the uh, Sugaliang type type stuff it, it definitely looks better than that and when i got it yep it definitely does look better than that in the flesh we'll take a look at the rod we'll start from the butt section got a very firm uh cork obviously you know this isn't the most premium cork uh you know you can see there's like three separate pieces i'm no expert at at rating cork but you know it is what it is it's uh, a 25 dollar australian rod the, um, the butt section, that's about two inches, so not too small. Quite a nice length there. That is around about, uh, I would say, 12 inches between the butt and the, uh, what is this, the foregrip? It's, the blank's got this really nice, um, like a forest green and gold. I think the green, I, I got a feeling my, my dad had a... Uh, Shimano Corrado that was this kind of color. Um, I'm talking like 15 years ago or something, but yeah, it actually looks quite nice. And um, the handle there, it's got some nice flakes, some flex in the uh, in the trigger there. Some carbon fiber detail. Some you know some more gold. It's you know it doesn't. It doesn't look overly cheap or anything. I mean, yeah, I, I think it's definitely value for money um, just by the initial looks of it. Got some gold detail there. There's no sort of imperfections or anything on there. And that's our first piece. And then it's, it's obviously a four piece rod, the 704. Second piece there, one guide. Um, don't know what type of guides they are, but it looks fine to me. There's one guide on that second section there. Third section, two guides. Again, looks, looks quite good quality for this price. And then the tip section. It's got another one two, three, four, five guides, with the anti-tangle guide at the top. So it's got a total of eight guides. So all of the models have eight guides. 
um, doesn't matter if you get the six or the eight foot version or the seven for that matter but yeah um, spinning casting doesn't matter what length all got eight guides so um, yeah I think you know the guide count doesn't matter as much on this being a medium rod I'm thinking you know the, the lines not going to be touching the blank because obviously the tip section is is uh, is not so thin that it's it's going to bend in such a way that the the line would rub on the blank but um you know if uh on a spinning version for it to have nine guides that's that's quite quite good and acceptable for an eight foot rod um but yeah just wanted to show you quickly it seems to be a medium action um i i put it on the floor gave it a bend seemed to seem to be a medium action so perfect for um throwing those big heavy lures in uh open water for um for trout and that type of thing but anyway that's a quick look at the Simrio Macans um, and yeah so far I can say it's pretty impressive so if you guys know any diamond in the rough type of rods really cheap rods that are flying under the radar that are not that well known and that sort of um, you know outperform their price point drop it in the comments below I'd really appreciate that and it'd be really interesting to see what you um, guys have found out there because there's so many rods on AliExpress every day I'm seeing new ones that um, I've never seen before so um, if you can drop that in the comments that'd be awesome and anyway guys thanks a lot I'll catch you next time and just as a sneak peek for those who watch to the end of the video I'm gonna be uh, doing a little bit of a, an unboxing and a review on the High Star Aurora Air Looks pretty sick on this creek dance with the black and gold accents, I must say.